Hi, Mum. Kelly. I know, I know. I ended the interview. I need to be more patient. Blah, blah, blah. You need to win the press over, my darling, not make an enemy of them. Yeah, yeah. Natalie Pinkham, Callie, of all people. I just get annoyed when people ask me about Dad, that's all. I know, but she's only doing her job, poor woman. I'm sure she understands that sometimes people don't like the questions. She's on your side, you do know that. This isn't about Natalie Pinkham, Mum. Well, it is and it isn't. Look, I will be nicer to her in the future. Happy now? I just hope you are. Great race today, darling. Thanks, Mum. I've got stuff to do, OK? I did not like Aiden. Not at all. Why not? I thought he was immature about what happened in Baku. I mean, like, he never really got over it. He was aggressive on track, and the paddock talks. He just wasn't happy at Connor Sport. Thought he was too good for the team. He just had a bit of an attitude problem. It's already complicated. And I've told you, they don't need to know. Well, it's your call, of course. But the dishonesty makes me uncomfortable. We'll talk about it later. Yes? Let's make this quick. Or maybe we could give Casper a bit of our time. This wasn't scheduled. What, are you too busy for us now? Just tell them, Casper. Andreo, please. Can we get started? Yeah, Aiden's got a meeting at Mercedes he needs to get to. Enough! Enough! Okay? This... This is what we have to talk about. It has to stop. Understand? If we can't pull together now... If we can't pull together... We are finished. Wait, what does that mean? Andreo? It means that if we don't finish fifth or higher, Butler Global will pull funding. And I don't think we'll find an investor to replace him. Not now. Wait, what? Casper? Yeah, it's true. Well, then we're finished. Andrea? We're finished. So, yeah, Dad brought me onto the team and then immediately threatened to shut it down. Why would he do that? It's kind of his thing. OK, Callie, I'm sure you've got questions, but we think we know what we're doing here. We've got information that says more rain's coming, and so, because we're the first ones to come and make this change, we can turn it into an advantage. So on your outlap, let's make it all count. Copy that. Aiden's in the pits. Aiden in the pits. OK, the stewards have now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. OK, so the gap to the car ahead, 2.5 seconds. Magnussen's ahead of you. OK, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 18.9 seconds. They're on a fresh set of inters. Sonoda behind. They're on a fresh set of inters. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Nine laps to go.
another five, maybe ten minutes of this rain. Careful with the overtakes, that was a bit risky, we could have received a penalty. Still the right tyres for the time being. Push, push, gap to the car behind, 4.7 seconds.
don't think the line is really dry enough yet to start thinking about slicks. Let's hold on to the inches for a little while longer. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Enabled, DRS is now enabled. of fuel remaining. so far.
Congratulations, Cully. You keep going like that, you might just prove me wrong yet. Cully? Well, we said at the time that it might have been too soon, but in hindsight, Connor Sport really did make the right call. May have made the pit stop, changed to wet tyres ahead of everybody else. That was a real turning point of the race. Yeah, you've got to get these decisions right, and not everyone did today. It's great to see Connor Sport taking their chances like that. Wonderful race by Mayer. If they want to improve on last season, they've got to try and do something different. Well, they did that today, they timed it well, and Mayer, well, she continues to impress. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Callie, great race. What do you mean, prove you're wrong? I was just trying to congratulate you, that's all. Prove you wrong about what exactly? I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying well done. By reminding me how little you actually believe in me. Callie. You are a piece of work. But it was a great race. You said you'd keep him away from me. I'll talk to him. How is he getting involved on comm? Well, he didn't ask, he just did it. Yeah, he'll do whatever he wants until someone stops him. I said I'll talk to him. That was a great result out there today. Let's forget about your father, okay? Yeah. Good. Looks like he's found someone else to talk to anyway. <laughs> 